Hello, my name is Ryan Boyd, and today I'm going to show you how to download, install, and get started with Neo4j 3.0 on a Windows machine. So I'm going to visit here neo4j.com slash download, and then I'm going to take the option to install for individuals. I'm an individual, and today I just need the community edition. If you need the advanced clustering, and high availability features, you're going to want to choose for business and download the Enterprise Edition trial. But for now, I'm downloading the Community Edition, and the download will begin for me automatically. And I'm just going to say I want to save this. And now my download is complete, and I'm ready to run the EXE that I've downloaded. And this is preparing to install the Community Edition. OK, and by default, it installs Neo4j in your program files directory. I'm going to click on Next here. I'm going to click on Next. This actually includes all of the dependencies that you need for running Neo4j, including the JRE. So I'm installing Neo4j. This will give me a uh, panel that I can use to manage Neo4j. We can use it to start and stop Neo4j and choose our database directory and other things. It's going to pop up here. You can see it here. You also see it down in the taskbar if you need to get back to it in the future. Uh, the default database location is within your documents directory. And this database will get created for you with the default empty Neo4j database as soon as I hit start. So I'm going to hit start, then it's going to give me a URL which I can use to access the Neo4j browser. I'm going to allow the access through the firewall and security features of my operating system. But then when I open up the Neo4j browser, I can then log in with the default username and password of Neo4j and Neo4j. And then it will ask me to create a new password. And I'll do that. And then we're now in the Neo4j browser. And you can browse around the browser and see the different nodes and relationships that are in your database. It's currently blank. But then you're going to want to get started probably by jumping into code here and looking at examples of either the movie graph or the Northwind graph. Um, and you can step through these examples and learn more about Neo4j and the property graph data model. Well, that's about it today, so hopefully you download and install Neo4j and get up and running quickly, and you can reach out to our team on Twitter if you have any questions. Thank you.